Down here in the bottom left hand corner of Antigua Shipyard, we have our Blue Zerg player from Team It's Gosu. Former Dream Team Gaming's Nalra, it is GY. And Heroes won a game, so he's throwing out a GG there. In the top right hand corner, we have our Red Protoss player from Team Liquid. You'll see him at the Team Arena Challenge 3 Finals in 10 days in San Francisco. He is Hero. Is it really only 10 days from now? Wow. It is. Today's August 1st, it is August Time. 11th. Time is flying, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Well, anyway, uh, so <laughs> Antigua Shipyard that is thought the, aside. the map. There we go. It just got a little bit too deep there for a second. Yes. Had this year has been going by incredibly quick, though. No kidding. It's I'm already August? We've what only got, what, like three heck? months and 20 days until the end of the world or something like that, I, according to oh the mines? Yeah. I don't know. Oh I, don't, I, I actually I, don't know that date off the top of my head, but... I should really beat some video games before that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Let's see here. You yep. know, oh, okay, okay. I think our TD okay. knows when it is, but is we're... Is supposed to be December 21st? We're I think. horrible yeah, okay, hosts. We're I was right. Three Chris months and 20 days. Tells us Boom. That it is. Chris oh. is amazing, by the way, guys. Uh, switching everything behind the scenes. And uh, actually, everyone here who's behind the scenes at IPL, we love very much. And yeah. Thank them very much for their support and everything like that. Could what not be a, done without them. I mean, that's, that's the thing. You, you see the daily content. You see the IPLs, obviously, the events. Um, yeah. But you don't see the people behind the scenes that really work hard, and they really do here. I mean, there's so many people behind the camera that have so, so much passion. It's quite cool. I mean, I know the word passion gets thrown a lot, yeah. gets thrown around a lot in esports, but I, I mean it. It's, it's genuine enthusiasm for making esports grow, which is really cool to see. Yeah, we all love what we do, and uh, in the very near future, we're actually going to be adding on some additional games. We've obviously been doing StarCraft yeah, and League of Legends, but uh, we cool have stuff. some pretty high-profile people from other genres in office and start working for us recently, which just you'll hear about soon. So, Stop announcing announcements. Shut just, up, just Doa. Stop. I don't want to hear I'm just and <laughs> quit your <laughs> sassiness. So. You just can't help yourself, right? Yeah, I know. Okay. If you guys are fans of fighting genres and shooting genres you'll be very happy soon and board games no i'm just kidding i hope so man I, if we had ipl Dude, Catan, i uh, would actually I, quit I commentating to Catan play too i would quit commentating yes. to play professional Catan. so would you really yeah do you can you trade any wheat for sheep oh god wheat for sheep uh, everyone always gets confused in settlers of Catan. it's always it's always like uh Oh, but do you need sheep or are you offering me sheep? Like how yeah. is this? And it's like, no, I I want sheep. I'm going to give you wheat. And everyone always so, gets confused. So you need wheat, played. right? Yeah, you you like, need yeah. wheat. Sheep for wheat. Sheep for wheat. Yeah. So, so you need wheat? No, I don't need wheat. Settlers of Catan is more frustrating than only having the light blue properties in Monopoly. <laughs> what was funny though is I had a I had a, a version of it for uh, for Xbox. So it was a good It was really fun. Wow. You know, when I didn't have a ton of people to play with for a while, it was uh -huh. a good way to keep me playing the game. But the is animations a were a little opening? over the top. It is what? three hatch, three hatch from GY. I can't Crazy. believe this. Crazy. All right. Um, when I had that version of the game though, the uh, they would, whenever you would trade with them, they'd be like, not now with you, and then throw hearts across the screen. So <laughs> it, was, yeah, it was a ridiculous Dude, version of the game, but I loved it. There's no love when someone turns down a trade in Settlers, man. Yeah. Let's be honest here. That's true. Like, part of the game is trying to convince other people to not trade with someone you don't want them to trade with. Yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, no, he's got, like, you know, underneath those cards, he's got, like, three victory points. Don't yeah. trade with him. Dude, You're going to cost away. us all the game. Yeah. Yeah. He puts a city on this. We all lose, dude. Come That's on. That's right. Um, well, it is three hatch, uh, no gas coming out from GY, so he's going to try and play this legit. This is a map where actually Roach Max is very powerful for a while, so it's one of the remaining maps where it is still effective because you can take down the destructible debris over to the third and open yourself up another attack path. Um, now, in contrast to what we saw Xenio do on this map the, mm -hmm. the other day, you do need to transition out of it a little bit quicker, but, um, you know, it is still possible to pull off some heavy Roach aggression here. Yeah. Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, it's not a bad map for if you've got a lot of space, you know, obviously to maneuver and things like that. And if Protoss uh, makes an attack and it fails, they are usually in trouble, just like that Overlord, maybe. Yeah. And Sorry, I zoomed I away from him just as you were talking about him. It's getting so intense. Is he going to get away? No, he does I'm not make it. Lord. Too bad. That's a bit irritating. So, Robo Bay N plus one coming out for heroes. So this could be a couple different things. I mean, it could be uh, some sort of immortal push. Those are quite popular, of course. Yep. Could also be a uh, safer setup to a third base as well. You never really know. Uh, the best way to find out is really to look at how many workers they have. That's kind of the most accurate way to figure out if they're going to go two base or three base. Two more gas going down. And so we'll have to keep an eye on that a little bit later. 
And it is pretty quick. Is that four gas? Three no, gas. just three yeah. gas coming down for uh, for GYs. Okay, so that's pretty normal stuff at this stage of the game. Yep. Um, but as we can see, out of hero, uh, he is starting to mine oh, from the third and fourth gas and has a warp prism coming How up. How many very, gateways does he have? Very hero-esque. Four uh, total? Just, no, just one, just one. for okay. now. So he'll be adding on some more soon. Huh, that warp prism is coming up so fast. I, that's... That's Century a little bit. Drop. I, I mean, yeah, I suppose it is, but normally you'd want a few more gateways with that. I yeah. mean, I don't play Protoss, obviously, but I would think in most cases when I've seen this, they have, you know, at least three or four total gateways and up, but he's going for an immortal. So this is this is really interesting. This is almost a little bit of a, a fake. He's not going to really go quite as hardcore with this as uh, some other players might, perhaps. He does have the gas to warp in some sentries and potentially do some decent damage, but I'm a bit surprised. Maybe I'm just totally like misremembering things right now, but normally I feel like you see a few more gateways with this. A stalker drop off to the side now, yeah. but it does pass within the vision of, uh, He's the best of GY. Of this stuff. Yeah, and he is going to pull back now and deal with this. So um, three more gates coming up now, so we'll be a total of four gates, but that's after the Immortals are already well underway. Hero going to need to pick up one oh, very of nice. those stalkers. At the very least, it does decide to pick up them all. Oh, now driving them behind the mineral line once again. This is so cool, man. I mean, Hero was one of the originators of the warp gate harass, and that's purely just what this is. This is no sort of uh, attack that plans on force fielding off the ramp or something like that and doing tons of damage. It's just simple, plain old harass, you know? Which is really, really cool to see. I love that Hero is still pulling that out of his bag of tricks. This has been such a non-standard ZEVP series. It's been a ton of fun to watch. And a Hydralisk Den on the way right now for GY, so he's actually going to go for a big Roach Hydra push, it looks like. And uh, actually, there was a fifth gate that was added on for Hero as well. Huh. So we'll see if he wants to continue oh, doing some damage. Second Immortal's just about ready to pop out. And we'll see if those get rallied across the map or if he's content to sit back at home for now. Yep, he's got plus one armor on the way, too. Buying himself some time by doing that Warp Prism harass. And if he keeps it alive, which he probably will, that'll be a nice uh, thing to have instead of a forward pylon later on. It looks like Hero, yep, he is going to... Oh, there's Warp Prism. Yeah, it looks like he's warping in a few more units right there. Or at least he landed it to kill a uh, scout. That's what it was, yeah. He's just getting control of the map. Mm -hmm. And the Observer's making its way out, but none of the Immortals have rolled their way up yet. There we go. Third one just about to pop out. So mm -hmm. this hits a little bit later than that normal three Immortal push that you've been seeing so much out of Protoss players. Yep. It's going to hit a little bit stronger with six gates, with a considerable amount of gateway units, and that forward Warp Prism to kind of help. Um, and it's already taken control of the map, I guess I should say. Yeah. Well... Question is, will GY be ready for this? He needs to, ooh, if there's sentries warped in here, this could be a little bit tricky now that the gateways are done. And does he see it? Does he see it? I think he's coming back now to the main. There's no sentries there, so he's not going to be able to force field off the ramp or anything like that, but he is going to be able to kill the queen. Just kind of nice. Yeah, a little bit of damage done there. Hydralisks are out and are certainly going to be helpful in kind of breaking this force here in a bit. Warp Prism is able to get away, but of mm -hmm. course, if this was pure Roach with a few Zerglings, this force would have torn through that so quickly. Yeah, it was going to be a really tough Immortal Sentry thing for uh, JY to, or GY rather, to hold a ton of Stalkers getting warped in as well. This is such a strong attack coming from Liquid Hero. GY is going to need to play this absolutely perfectly against all these sentries. It's going to be tough. Force Field's trapping a couple units. He's got to yeah. be careful. Already a few roaches dying up at the front. Hero has plenty of sentries, a lot of energy to go around. So uh, those force fields certainly not going to hurt him. At the same time, he's actually warping into the main as well. So yeah. he wants to pull the attention of his opponent away. And it looks like he is doing that, getting himself into position over at the yep. third. Oh, the force fields are absolutely awesome, trapping so many units back by the uh, hatchery. But GY does pull back in time, doesn't really lose as much as he could have. And he's also doing a good job of pulling the warpers into the main. but. Oh, that's not quite as good. Yeah, it looks like Hero just slowly pushing through, but GY still has a bit of a chance. The force fields are just perfect, though, man. Yeah, with that spine crawler down as well, yeah, that's, that helps uh, a lot. that's really, really helpful. I mean, that was zoning uh, Hero's forces out for a long time because GY could just rally his forces around that, but yeah. now it's just not the case. There's still a fair number of Hydralisks out there, but man, GY is taking a lot of damage. Ah, uh, the drone's coming off the line as well. That doesn't help at all. The sentries are dead, but does GY have enough to defend all this. He's bringing everything here. Units from the main base right now, just trying to barely have enough. 
And looks like this Immortal is going to pick off a couple more roaches there. God, just deals so much damage to armored units. It's ridiculous. There we go. The Hydras take care of that, though. Yeah, finally going down so we can start to add some more roaches back into the mix. But with wow. pure Hydras here, it does deal with gateway units very effectively. Yeah, Zealots, unfortunately, are a bit of a different story here. A little bit tougher for the Hydras to handle than those Stalkers. So GY does need to pull back just a little bit. He's down to only 39 drones. That's kind of the biggest problem that he's got right now is that his worker count is so low, despite that he kind of did hold that first push. He had to sacrifice a lot of drones to do that, and that's going to hurt him. How many did go down? There were seven killed before, so an additional 20, 20. drones, yeah, were yeah. killed in that little push. And now, of course, Colossi are being added on, so Hero's going to be able to sit on these two bases for a while. His pro count wasn't the highest in the world, so he's not going to starve himself out very quickly. He can start to take a third, though, if he wants. Yep. So now the question is, you know, what will GY do as a follow-up to this? He's getting Zergling speed, which is nice to have. He obviously skipped it to get hydras and roaches and speed Oop. and things like that out. Oh, and another warp in, in the main. GY's units out of position a little bit this time. Yeah, so this is certainly going to disrupt mining for a long period of time. And uh, smartly, of course, Hero getting out of there, yeah. not taking any additional damage. Man, this is like classic Liquid Hero, too. The warp prism harass, the good timing attacks. It's really cool to see. And now he's got his opponent really on the back foot. So he's got Colossi added in there, like we said. Thermal Lance is on the way, but he's going to be on two Colossi here momentarily. Even some Zealots up in the front just to make sure that this forward pylon, it, it forces uh, GY to send more units at it, so it makes this Warp Prism just that much more effective. Mm -hmm. oh, two Hydralisks are all he needs to keep that Warp Prism away. It's kind of nice. Thermal Lance on the way as well. Third base on the way. And uh, GY, although he does have a bit of a supply lead like most Zergs would often do, he needs to be very careful about how he comes out and engages this because when he gets to his opponent's base, his opponent's going to have Colossus tech. It's going to be a little bit rough to attack into that without any corruptors or anything like that. And Thermal Lance is being chrono boosted yeah. at the moment, so it's going to be here in about 30 seconds or so in game. And once again, another big drop. Oh, but the Hydralisks are able to deal with that, so Warp Prism Harass not going to be that much of an issue anymore. Yep. It's more going to be this attack coming through the front. Yeah, let's see how quickly he decides to go for it. Hero pulling back a little bit, and GY may decide to go up to the third. That's exactly what he's going to do. Needs to be careful, though. Those Hydras are so vulnerable. Yes, they are. There's not a ton of roaches there, so he's going to have to play very carefully. Nice job by Hero to warp in some units on the high ground as well. Now is a Photon Cannon to aid in the defense, and GY's kind of caught between a rock and a hard place. He does have a pretty stout force, but the Colossi are just so strong. Yeah, again, the force fields are pretty decent as well as far as splitting up that army goes. GY, though, he's playing it. I mean, he's playing it pretty well. He's pulling back when he needs to, but those Colossi, oh, man, with man. Thermal Lance are just doing way too much damage. He needs to get out of there, but with those Hydras in the mix, it's hard to retreat efficiently. He's going to at least lose some Hydras if Hero decides to chase. And looks like that is what Hero's going to do. So now, with that third base up, he should be able to get a pretty stellar economy going. He's already up by 13 workers on his opponent and able to reproduce his army just that much more efficiently. Mm -hmm. Ventral Sacks and Numatized Carapace coming up for his Overlord, so he will have very speedy drops available. But uh, I don't know if you know. I don't know if he's going to be able to pull that off in time. Yeah, it's going to be a bit risky, and I don't know if drops is really going to be the right tech to go in this particular case. I think a, a spire may have been a better decision at this point with the infest, or you know, an infestation pit or something like that. But it's a tough position to be in as Zerg. I mean, he's already spent a lot of money on that higher tier hydralisk tech, and it's just not going to pan out for him very well because of the thermal lance upgrade on the Colossus. He's actually going to go for a Nidus bust here with this. And wow. Hero's army, you know, Brave. if it if it gets out there, I mean, he's going to be able to get into the main when Hero's army is out of position. But we'll see what Hero does. He could just come home and defend it. He could just try to base trade. He's got a pylon. He's got a lot of stuff in position. But there is that possibility that an Overlord could sneak in and do it behind a mineral line or something. Yeah, I still think, though, that uh, he could hit just before any of this happens, really. Yeah. And, uh, you he know, why we'll need to pull back he and might. do some damage uh, or try and do some damage to this. Trying because to get if he the sends flank. anything forward into the Nidus, uh, Hero's going to be able to defend against that. Oh, here we go. Commit, units. So. Oh, units coming in from behind right now. Does Hero have enough force fields? The force fields are pretty good. The units behind him are not doing a whole lot of damage, getting caught up by reinforcements. And, yeah, Hero absolutely wrecking this army. Look at this in trouble, man. Man, yep. just racking up an Master. incredible amount of kills there. Yep. Almost Almost a grand an executor. Master. Oh, executor now. Yes. And that is going to be about it. So uh, despite some cool games and some good manners at the end there from uh, yeah. GY, Hero is...